Is forgiveness cheap? A cheap way of getting out of dealing with the consequences of your actions? This is the question we'll be looking at today as we analyze one character in Silence by Martin Scorsese. If there's one very interesting character in this film, which is a man who constantly goes back and forth between the priests, asking them for confession, asking them to be forgiven for his sins, even though he keeps denying the faith, and then the following days or a few weeks later, he feels bad about himself, and he goes and finds the priest, and he asks for confession of his sins. Bless me, Padre, for I have sinned. I am sorry for being so weak. You get the semblance of Andrew Garfield is wondering, is this man actually sorry? Why did you come here? Is it for absolution? Is the purpose of forgiveness just to make a person feel better? Or is also the purpose of forgiveness meant to elicit a change? And when you don't see change in a person, should you forgive that person? I pray for God's forgiveness. The paradox is that is precisely what makes him Rodriguez's spiritual teacher. Jesus said, what you do for the least of me, you do for me. In that sense, you have to love them. And that's Kichijiro, who tries, fails, but swears he'll be strong the next time. Ultimately, Rodriguez understands that it's himself too. There's a very interesting scene at the very end of the movie, Silence, where after Andrew Garfield, one of the young Jesuits, has apostatized his own faith, after he has given up his faith the same character, after all of them have seen the death of multiple people, the same character who had apostatized and given up his faith once more comes to Andrew Garfield, the priest, and asks him for forgiveness. I still stop over what I did, Padre. I betrayed you. I betrayed my family. I betrayed our Lord. Please. Forgiveness is sometimes a process. It's why we must broaden our vision to look at forgiveness in a wider sense. It's also in the process of forgiving other people that we ourselves find ourselves changed and give the opportunity to others to change in slow, incremental ways which bring about a person from cowardice to courage. In the year 1667, a religious image was discovered inside an amulet belonging to a servant called Kichijiro. The servant said he had won at gambling, had never looked inside, and could never have gotten the amulet from Okada Sanemon since he was always on the guard. The servant Kichijiro was taken away. 